The N-Junction Diode Part 1 Objectives To understand the formation of PN junction To understand the term diffusion current Most electronic gadgets like laptops, mobile phones and chargers consist of a circuit board. There are several minute components like capacitor, transistor and resistors on these boards. One such component is called diode. The diode is a two-terminal semiconductor device which conducts current only in one direction. The device is designed by processing a single crystal of silicon in such a manner that one half portion of it acts as a p-type semiconductor and the other half as an n-type semiconductor. The contact surface of the two is called the junction. The conduction of charges across the junction occurs due to two different coexisting mechanisms. 1. Diffusion of majority charge carriers resulting due to the imbalance in the charge concentration. 2. Drift of minority charge carriers resulting due to the electric field set up by diffusion. Let us try to understand one of these mechanisms, that is, diffusion, which leads to the formation of depletion layer. As PN junction is just formed, both P and N regions are electrically neutral. The P-type region has holes as majority charge carriers, while the N-type region has electrons as majority charge carriers. The majority charge carriers begin to diffuse from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. The free electrons in N region leave behind positive immobile ions near the junction and diffuse into P region. On arriving at the P side, they give rise to negative ions near the junction. The holes in the P region appear to diffuse into N region, leaving behind a negative immobile ion. As a result, an electric field E is set up near the junction, directed from the positive charge to the negative charge. Further, diffusion of electrons and holes results in accumulation of the positive ions in the N region and the negative ions in the P region resulting in an increase in the electric field near the junction. We know that a charge Q in an electric field E experiences a force F equal to QE. The force F acts in the same direction as E if Q is positive and opposite to E if Q is negative. Let us apply this to the carriers in the field region. The electrons in the N region approaching the junction experience a force EE in a direction opposite to E and are then pushed back into N region. Only the electrons having sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the force EE cross the junction and diffuse into the P region. Similarly, holes in the P region experience a force EE but in the direction of E and are then pushed back into the P region. Only a few energetic holes from P region diffuse into the N region. To summarize, the diode is a two-terminal semiconductor device which conducts current in only one direction. The conduction of charges across the junction occurs due to two different coexisting mechanisms. 1. Diffusion of majority charge carriers resulting due to the imbalance in the charge concentration. 2. Drift of minority charge carriers resulting due to the electric field set up by diffusion. The majority charge carriers diffuse from the region of higher concentration